I am thyroid surgeon and uh, I do both the open mm -hmm. and the robotic uh, thyroid surgery. And uh, most of surgery is of course done in open uh, thyroid surgery, but nowadays the robotic surgery is getting more popular and more popular because robotic surgery have very good advantages. Like first of all, uh, it gets rid of the scars in the neck area. So many young people, uh, not just women, but also men, is very uh, concerned about the scars in the neck area after thyroid surgery. So uh, with the robotic surgery, we can get rid of the mm -hmm. scars in the neck area. Mm -hmm. That's just the base. And nowadays, we have more evidences of the effectiveness of the robotic surgery, mm -hmm. which include the surgical safety and also the oncologic safety. Mm -hmm. uh, the surgical safety, it means that we have very low chance of getting the complication mm -hmm. after thyroid surgery. After thyroid surgery, uh, routinely we have like uh, hypoparathyroidism and like uh, no palsy, uh, but with the robotic surgery, it can be uh, very low uh, compared to the open thyroid surgery. And also as a oncologic safety, which means that we can clear out the thyroid gland very effectively after the surgery. So we compared both open and robotic surgery, and we found out that uh, the robotic surgery have much more effectiveness in clearing out the older thyroid gland. Mm -hmm. uh, also, nowadays many people, many people have concerned about to maintain the voice ability, mm -hmm. which means that like girl group, idol, mm -hmm. uh, they use the voice mm -hmm. as a professional. So I have many patients like uh, professor, teacher, mm -hmm. and also using like uh, singers. singers. Yeah. So they are very concerned about uh, to maintain their voice quality after mm -hmm. the surgery. Uh, nowadays, as with the help of robotic uh, system, we can do the thyroid surgery very effectively and also be very safely mm -hmm. to maintain their voice quality mm -hmm. after the surgery. Uh, we started the robotic thyroid surgery in 2008. Oh. I guess it was like February. Uh, at that time, we have done endoscopic uh, thyroid surgery mm -hmm. with uh, uh, what we call the BABA approach. Okay. And uh, we found out that the robotic system could help mm -hmm. us a lot mm -hmm. uh, with the uh, endoscopic BABA thyroid surgery. Mm -hmm. So uh, we started robotic assisted uh, mm -hmm. BABA thyroid surgery. Mm -hmm. Nowadays it's called the BABA thyroid, mm -hmm. robotic thyroid surgery as well in 2008. Mm -hmm. And of course, at first time, uh, there was many challenges because, because it was the first time in the world, yes. uh, there was uh, no one I can uh, look after. So uh, we started from the scratch and made every schemat schematic uh, approach Mm -hmm. to get the older arms and uh, uh, the docking system and all the system mm -hmm. in the routine way. But after a couple of cases, we found that the robotic system is very perfect mm -hmm. fit to the, uh, the BABA thyroid surgery. Mm -hmm. So for now on, for about like uh, nine years, mm -hmm. it could be 10 years mm -hmm. for now, and for more than uh, three thousand cases, we have done the robotic BABA thyroid surgery very effectively. Okay. Yeah, the story is like that. There's a very simple story. Uh, all the doctors, especially the surgeons, is very, very uh, concerned about the safety of the patient, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, while doing the endoscopic thyroid surgery, it is also very safe and very good way to uh, remove the malignant or benign thyroid diseases. But uh, I fear uh, that there could be much better way mm -hmm. to do the surgery. And I found out that uh, the robotic could be uh, because they have the 3D vision and also very sophisticated yes. movement of the robotic arms uh, because the robot, uh, the thyroid, yes. I'm sorry, the thyroid <laughs> is a very small gland and it has very sophisticated 
uh, structures nearby, yes. like arteries, mm -hmm. nobles, mm -hmm. trachea, esophagus, mm -hmm. and so it needs very delicate movement. Mm -hmm. So it is very fit to the robotic system, which is very, very sophisticated uh, maneuver. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the story, but mm -hmm. to pro uh, provide uh, the patients with uh, what we have mm -hmm. at most, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, nowadays, uh, there's almost no limitation in the barber surgery. No. Uh, in the conference today, mm -hmm. we talked about a lot about the lateral, uh, lateral metastasis mm -hmm. cases mm -hmm. and also very big size cyro cancers. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the limitation is getting uh, smaller and smaller. Of course, we have limitations. The first of all is that when we uh, deal with the record cases of mm -hmm. cyro cancer, we need to do the open surgery. Mm -hmm. So uh, without those kind of uh, record cases, most of surgery, the cyro surgery nowadays, mm -hmm. could be done by the robotic Baba cyro. I will say what I say to my uh, junior colleagues yes. as well that uh, like this conference, the international conference, mm -hmm. is very, very important uh, because uh, we need to meet uh, someone who has very different uh, perspective. So we can learn a lot from what they uh, see or mm -hmm. hear because uh, when we are in our only uh, limitation, uh, it is limited to just what I have. Mm -hmm. But if we move to the other uh, hippos, like uh, doctors from foreign country, of course, patients, and some like uh, our beautiful editors, uh, we can have, we can hear the, the other side of perspectives. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we can know much about the, the, the new ideas, and they can be uh, joined together what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. So robotic is a very good example mm -hmm. about that because I did not know the robotic from the first. Yeah, I was doing the cyro surgery, so I was doing the endoscopic cyro surgery. Mm -hmm. But uh, I went to some conference. I found that the robotic is well uh, done mm -hmm. by other field of the surgery like uh, urology, mm -hmm. uh, like colorectal. So then I found out that what is robotic system. And so I merged it, I joined the robotic system with the endoscopic mm -hmm. uh, BABA uh, mm -hmm. surgery. So the new improvement, we call it innovation. Mm -hmm. So the surgical innovation could be uh, settled with the, uh, the merging new ideas. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you very much for mm -hmm. your time.